Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to The Ted Show. We're kicking off a new series. I'm here with, um, he's a big dog to me. This is Andy Fulton with Future Home Loans. And if you guys don't know, you've been kind of had your head under a rock. I don't know what's happening. I moved to Future Home Loans and I'm super excited. Uh, it's got a fantastic culture. We're going to learn more about it every week. And we're calling this Andy and Ted's Excellent Adventure. We're going to learn about the market. We're going to learn about why we're different. We're going to talk about products. We're going to talk about success stories. And we're going to kick it off all here with the one and only Andy Fulton. Welcome, Andy. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Ted. Thank you for bringing me on your show. And welcome to Future Home Loans. We're really excited and appreciative to have you. I am so happy to be here. And we were talking earlier with someone about culture and boy, um, future defines culture in the positive way. And so it is uh, so refreshing and so good for the heart and soul, I can tell you that. But uh, my story, people hear all the time. We want to hear your story. So before we went live, I said that uh, the audience loves an origin story. They they know that you weren't born and then decided to talk about lending. Uh, there was a whole little journey in between there. So uh, if you'd share that with them, uh, at least point A to point B, that would yeah, thank you. And again, thank you for the opportunity to join uh, the, the TED show. So I'm born and raised in the Washington, D.C. area, right in Southern Maryland. And uh, I uh, relocated down to Florida to attend Flagler College in St. Augustine in the 90s. And I got an opportunity to intern for Merrill Lynch Credit Corporation uh, in my senior year at Flagler and accepted a job with them. That was my very first job into the mortgage business, and it's been history ever since. And so, you still have hair. I do. I'm very lucky to still have hair at this point, especially being the age I am and being in the mortgage business for this long. <laughs> I love it. That's a different world. That was a different type of market uh, for those people that don't want to go read their history books. Tell them a little bit about it because it was completely different. Yeah, I, I think if I think back to the first loans that I wrote for Merrill Lynch back in the late 90s, I think the 30 year fixed rate mortgage was probably 7.625%. Prime was at 8.5%. You hear so much talk about the Federal Reserve raising rates and how high rates are today. Well, the prime rate today is 5.5% compared to what it was in the late 90s. Yeah. It's to me, the market is, has, is always shifting and always changing. Um, I feel like we have been in an interesting, fun kind of ride for anybody who's been in real estate, and now we're having to shift back a little bit. It's still not the sky is falling, which we talk about on the show all the time. It's more stable or at least stabilizing, uh, which we'll talk about every week, too, because as the market shifts, which it does, rates go up, rates go down, inventory goes up, inventory goes down. It's, it's just that cyclical part, but because people have been... Um, in such a abundance mode uh, the past couple of years in the real estate world, this shift seems to be disturbing some people. So we'll talk about that every week too, which I definitely think is important so that we get people back out there and uh, we get people continuing to buy and sell homes. Let's talk about futures, future being a broker. If you can give them a, an explanation of how that's different uh, from what they might think from a traditional standpoint, yeah, without getting into too many of the behind the curtains details of what's different between a broker and, you know, a large bank mortgage lender like Bank of America, uh, the simple answer is we just have more solutions. We have more access to more lending options in the market than what a direct retail lender would have. And that's because we have more outlets where we can go to for our clients to say, hey, this company may not have the right loan, but this company does. The second thing I'd say is we have the ability to shop for clients. Again, we're a broker, so we have access to multiple wholesale lenders where when we put a loan scenario together for a client, we are already baked into our process looking at the interest rates and the pricing options for these clients with at least five lenders at once. And there's no extra cost to a client for a broker's service than there is from a direct retail lender. In fact, what you usually experience with a broker is even a better price than a direct retail lender because our overhead tends to be lower. It's it's so true. I have worked both sides of that. And being on the broker side, to me, reminds me of when I had my insurance agencies as an independent insurance agent. Um, I had a product for you. 
Uh, you just had to make sure you could come to the table with whatever that looked like. But I loved being able to shop that for people because of the need and the change in the market. Everybody's a little bit different. So if you have a broker, uh, a broker is really looking out for you and trying to find the right fit for you based on where you're at and what your needs are. And in the more traditional setting, you usually have the one product and you either qualify or you don't. <laughs> There's not a whole bunch of moving around. There's not a whole bunch of options for you. And I love the fact that on the brokerage side, we can really take a look at being, like you said, solution based versus the no, 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 which I think a lot of people um, get. Talk about some of the um, realtors. I was telling people that we were going to do the show, my realtor friends, and they're like, yeah, but some of those some of those other products we don't know enough about, Ted. And so we never, ever do anything with them. And so each week we're going to be talking about specific products, but Give them an example of what a brokered product is um, that is outside of the conventional. I'm going to try to sound like I'm intelligent, conventional conforming uh, type of loan. Yeah. So some of the programs we have, I'll, I'll use a phrase that's internal to our business called non-QM, right? They're going to be non-traditional loans. Um, bank statement financing loans, meaning if you're self-employed and, and, you know, if somebody's watching that's been self-employed today, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's so difficult to prove and validate your income through traditional underwriting level. Uh, uh, traditional underwriting means like tax returns that we clear through all of that. And we really just use business bank statements to determine what is the actual income of your business and what can we qualify you for, for a loan. Uh, folks that like to invest in real estate, there's a lot of no's that you can get in the mortgage business, especially if you own more than three or four properties, or if you're buying real estate that doesn't really show rent today because you got to do some work to it, or you've got to get a lease out there. We have the capability to do uh, what's called debt service coverage ratio uh, lending for folks that want to invest in rental properties. And we can uh, uh, validate and evaluate what is the rental possibility of these properties without you having to prove that you already have rent being received from a property that you don't even own yet, which makes it much easier to qualify. It's a simpler process. There are a lot of other options, condo tells, non-warrantable condos for nationals. But I want to take us back to a program that I wouldn't consider non-traditional, but probably doesn't get talked about enough. Future Home Loans is a veteran-owned company. And we really do put a lot of energy and time into make sure our entire team are VA experts. We're pretty passionate about helping the veterans in our community. And when you look at your bigger lenders in the market, typically your bigger lenders are probably utilizing the VA benefit mortgage program and about 8% or less than of all the mortgages that they do. So it is really, really difficult to be an expert in the VA mortgage process when it's one, you do eight out of a hundred times. The other challenge with lenders is they really have a difficult time maintaining the capacity of VA certified underwriters and VA certified closers, because it's very difficult for them to predict volume, especially in, in fast changing periods for interest rates in the mortgage business. For us, that's not the case. I, I would say unequivocally that if you're a real estate agent watching this show right now, and you have a veteran interested in buying a home, uh, you'd be a disservice, be doing a disservice to that veteran, not at least including future home loans as a potential lending referral for them. Our interest rates are incredibly low for VA clients. Our team is complete experts at them. And we're actually even able to find ways to provide more of a benefit, more of a solution to our VA clients than what others normally provide just because of our detailed knowledge of what that benefit is. I love that. And, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big, huge supporter of the veteran community, active military community. Uh, and it's just such a blessing to be part of a company that is veteran owned and also really takes that seriously, really, really loves to give back and make that process, not just a more accessible, but educating uh, the community on how amazing uh, the, the VA loan is and can be, and that it's not uh, the craziest loan on the planet, which a lot of realtors. So um, one of the things that we're doing on the Heroes Always Welcome sh series is really talking about uh, veterans and the VA situation every week and hopefully going to be bringing on some success stories, uh, some people who have really benefited from.
from it and some realtors who have changed their tune on whether or not this is a hard loan or not a hard loan and uh wink wink it's not just so you know so uh, i love that you shared that thank you all right well before we head out andy um i want to ask i always ask a personal question which i did not prepare you for don't worry it won't be too personal uh but i love this one and only though since we'll be doing this every week i will not do this to you every week maybe wink wink uh but when i say the word hero who's the first person who comes to mind for you Oh, I would have to say my dad, you know, my, my parents live in St. Augustine, Florida. They've been uh, my biggest advocates through my career, my biggest mentors through my career. My father helped me through 25 years of learning how to work as an adult, learning how to manage and lead people, how to lead business. Uh, he's the first person I always called uh, when I was up against a situation. I wasn't sure what the right decision was to make. And he's always been my great moral compass. My father's always ended his advice with always do the right thing. And so that's stuck with me. I'm thankful he's still here. I'm thankful I still get to spend time with him. And, uh, you know, he's a big Future Home Loans fan. He, he went to our Future Review event last Friday. And I still call my father 25 years into my own career with, what would you do? How should I handle this? Uh, I love that. Thank you for sharing. See, it wasn't a scary question. <laughs> All right, Andy, thank you so much. So every week we will be talking about future. We'll be talking about products. We'll be talking about what's going on in the industry. Uh, we'll make this more like a mortgage minute or 10. Uh, I don't know how we could talk in one minute, either one of us, but uh, we want to educate you. So if you have questions, you have things you want us to talk about in the industry, uh, please reach out to me or reach out to Andy and we'll get together and we'll make sure that we talk about that. Uh, and of course, the future is bright as our hashtag, uh, and it is so true. If you have a borrower, you have someone that is interested in getting a mortgage, I hope that you'll reach out to us. Um, you can reach out to Andy, me, or any of our amazing professional loan originators, loan officers uh, that are here, not just in the state, but we are in other states as well. Just open Texas. Super excited about that. Uh, we are growing, and that's a great thing. Andy, thank you so much personally for taking me on. Um, I think the audience will agree with you that I'm whatever the opposite is of low maintenance. And I appreciate your patience with me, but I can tell you that I am so happy to be here at Future Home Loans. And I'm super excited to work with you and the team. So thank you guys every week. Tune in. We'll be back. Thanks, Andy, so much. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, thank everybody. You.